Hey everyone, this is Big Mike, and this is my review of the new DC film, Batman Hush, the animated film from DC Comics. Now, it was based off of the well-renowned Batman Hush comic from the early 2000s. Now, I really, really enjoyed that book. It was one of the books I read multiple times. I really love the story. Now, the movie was pretty good, but I will say there were some changes. And the, some of the changes I were okay, I was okay with. Some of the changes I just was not. Like I said, this is gonna be a spoiler review. So if you haven't watched the animated film, watch the animated film, come back and watch my review. The review of the book, I really, really, really love this book. It was written by Jeff Loeb, penciled by Jim Lee. In my opinion, Jim Lee's arguably you know, the best penciler of our decade right now, or of the past 20 years at this point. Uh, start off, you know, with Marvel doing X-Men and stuff. He's done a lot of the good Batman, you know, uh, stories and everything. So, I really love the story. So, I was a little disappointed when I watched the movie and to see, like, a lot of things that were changed. Now, granted, DC and their animated movies now, they're trying to keep a continuity, kind of like a universe like Marvel does. So I'm okay with some of the changes they made, like Damien being in it. So when the book was written, Damien wasn't even a concept yet. Um, so I was okay with that since they're trying to, you know, make this uh, uh, continuity, you know, a universe that's all constructed in one. So I'm okay with that. Um, uh, all right, where do I get started? All right, <laughs> let me start from the beginning. So in the beginning, when Batman is fighting a villain who has kidnapped a child, and the book was Kill the Croc. They changed that out for Bane. Don't know why, I guess because Bane uh, is kind of a more well-known uh, villain of Batman in his Rose Gallery. They feel maybe he was, um, you know, a more popular villain to throw in the movie. Okay, wasn't too upset about it, but I'm a fan of Kill the Croc. I wanted to see him fight Kill the Croc. So we get through that part, you know, Catwoman, she steals the ransom money, she's being controlled by Poison Ivy. Okay, all that's fine. That's all well and good, fine and dandy, whatever. Um, so we get to him taking down uh, Bane, which was Killer Croc in the original, which was fine, I was okay with that. All right, so we get to, you know, him meeting his friend, uh, Thomas Elliot, you know, after a long time. So, in the book, we know Thomas Elliot was Hush. So Batman, of course, suffers an injury, just like in the book. His line gets cut on his grappling hook. He falls, boom, he has a head injury. Thomas Elliot, you know, his friend now is a brain surgeon. He has to step, step in and he saves Bruce Wayne's life, Batman's life. So Catwoman's back in town, like I said, she stole the ransom money for the kid or whatever, being controlled by Poison Ivy. So, um, She's being controlled, she's not happy about being controlled. Uh, you know, she goes to Poison Ivy, she, she well, she saves, uh, in, in the movie, she saves Batman after he falls. In the comic, it was Hunters. I didn't care about that, because like, just throwing in a lot of those characters, you know, you wouldn't really, or the, you know, the general public wouldn't really know, okay, why is Huntress in this? You know, whatever, Catwoman, fine. So, you know, we get through that, I'm okay with it. All right, so one of, the, one of the plot points they really, I think I didn't like, was when they switched out, um, when they were trying to do the whole plot where they were bringing back Jason Todd. Like they did mention the Lazarus Pit, that was a part of the story, you know, even in the original, because we know the Riddler, uh, it was mentioned in the epilogue that the Riddler had, um, he had had a inoperable disease, he was dying. He used the Lazarus Pit, he gained the knowledge that Bruce Wayne was Batman, and he kind of put this whole plot together. Now, that was correct. That was what the plot was in the book. So, you know, we do get kind of that, um, but it was bigger things in motion here, because we know when the book was written too, it was before we knew that Jason Todd was coming back and he was gonna be Red Hood. This was kind of like a setup to that. The original book was kind of like a setup to that, because uh, Jason Todd's, you know, his grave was empty. In the movie, they just made it like it was Thomas Elliot's grave that was empty because we know even in the book, when Harley Quinn crashed the opera 
and was robbing everyone and Thomas Elliot runs out and Joker shoots him, you know, fakes his death or whatever. We know it was Clayface in the original book. Uh, you know, they just made it like he actually died. Now, because I was surprised at the end, you know, I was kind of like, okay, uh, you know, this is going to be Thomas Elliot. Even when, the, you know, there was a big reveal and it showed that it was the Riddler who was Hush. I was like, oh, he's going to still take a mask off and, or you're still going to see like Thomas Elliot be, you know, Hush over here somewhere. And it just didn't happen. And I think like it took away from me, it took away from the story because I like the whole story of Thomas Elliot being mad at uh, the Wayne family because he had a plot against his parents. Um, he wanted them to die in this car accident so he could get their inheritance money. So that didn't happen because Thomas Wayne, Bruce's father, actually saved his parents and that thwarted his whole plan. So he was actually mad because he wanted the inheritance money when he was young. So that's why the Riddler and him teamed up in the first place or the Riddler actually got him to team up with him because he was mad at Bruce Wayne and Batman. And that's how he got, you know, his friend Thomas Elliot. I, I like that whole, you know, friend from childhood twist to be like one of your greatest foes. Like, I really like that plot twist in the book. So for me, I was disappointed in the movie when it ended up just being the Riddler. Cause I'm like, yeah, the Riddler orchestrated this whole thing, but we still have to have like the whole Thomas Elliot thing because that actually had more impact. So that's, I think what I was really, really upset about. Um, but like I said, the movie was still pretty good. Uh, it had very good uh, uh, action sequences, fights and everything like that. It did stick pretty close to the source material, like I said, besides like swapping out a few characters um, and some things that, you know, didn't really need to be there and, and some of the swaps I just didn't get at all. So overall, I thought the movie was pretty good, um, even though, you know, the nerd in me was just kind of like, why did you do this? Why did you deviate from the source material so? You know, it was just my personal thing that I, I, I really wanted Hush to be Thomas Elliot because I really liked that plot twist in the book. I really didn't see it coming. I was like, oh man, you know, it's childhood friend, blah, blah, blah. Like, the Riddler's just kind of like, okay, it's the Riddler. You know what I mean? Like, and because even in the book, when Riddler's like, I know who you are type thing, blah, blah, Bruce, uh, Batman's just kind of like, okay. I mean, you're the Riddler you have now the greatest riddle because you know who I am. You're not going to tell anyone because it's going to spoil it. He was like, and even if you do, I'm going to tell the League of Assassins that you are the one who snuck in to use a Lazarus pit to heal yourself, and then you're going to have to worry about them. So, like, that whole thing is so Batman as well. So those aspects of it I was kind of missing. I can still see why they would change some things as well. So, like, the viewer like me wouldn't know exactly what to expect. But I still wanted to see exactly what was on the page, like, manifest, you know, on film or animated. So, there's my review. You know, if you would, I want to hear what you thought, whether you really liked it, whether you had the same gripes as I did. If you didn't read the comic and just saw the movie, like, what did you think about it? Please drop your comments below. Like, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications for all my latest content. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.